my name is Rick Woods, and I'm the one of the marketing product managers here at HuffCore. And I was involved with uh, the Invista uh, Clearview Acoustic Glass Wall project. So prior to Invista, we had the Ultra Glass Wall, which is our four-inch high acoustic glass wall, and a frameless line. The Ultra is our premier glass line, glass wall line. Uh, it has the highest acoustics, uh, 45 to 46 SDC. Um, it also uh, does some things that other glass walls may not be able to do, such as uh, uh, tall openings uh, up to over 12 feet. Um, has an uh, inline pass door, ADA, panic push bar. So our frameless glass wall line, what we call the GL frameless line, um, very straightforward, lightweight, clear view, uh, nice sight lines, uh, uses a half inch glass, comes in a, a variety of glass types and finishes, perfect for uh, storefronts, uh, malls, shopping centers, indoor applications like airports. They're being spec more and more around the country in those types of applications. And this, uh, provides a, a, a need in the marketplace. We recognize that uh, there really isn't a good uh, medium, medium acoustic glass wall product in the marketplace with uh, clean lines, lightweight, easy to operate, available in a range of finishes and glass types. And that's where Invista really fits the need. It is, uh, from an acoustical standpoint, it uh, has best in class acoustics up to uh, 38 SDC, uh, very clean lines, very sleek, very lightweight, um, easy to operate, easy to use, um, and we added some new features to it that makes it even easier to use than maybe what you might find out there today. While we are developing Invista, we recognized we had a need to add uh, choices, choices for glass, choices for finishes, choices for locks, and so as we developed this product, uh, we embarked upon finding uh, solutions to fit those needs. So with Invista, we are launching uh, six different glass types that are available with Invista, and at the same time, we're making them available for our frameless line as well. Um, those types of glass, and in addition to your half-inch tempered clear, would include the, uh, the low iron uh, option, which is a maximum clarity glass. Um, also, three levels of translucency, and a laminated, both uh, standard laminate and clear laminated, and a high acoustic laminate as well. Uh, found in both types of uh, both product families. In addition to that, we're, we've introduced a line of uh, door handles uh, that goes with this line. That uh, three different door handle options and multiple finishes and lengths uh, provides a lot of choice for the for the architects and the end users regarding their particular situation. Floor tracks are generally for glass wall that uh, that are exterior applications. You know when you're trying to manage through wind loads snow or, or, or rain loads, um, you need some way to be able to support the bottom of that. With our product, or their interior products, we don't require floor tracks. It makes for a nice clean installation, um, it simplifies, greatly simplifies installation. Um, it's a place, uh, it, prevent, it, uh, it prevents things from, from debris catching, from catching the heels of shoes, tripping hazard. Um, all of our um, glass wall products, and for that, for that matter, all of our operational wall products are top supported. No floor tracks necessary. Um, and then in those situations where you need security or you need to uh, support, say, an inline pass door or pivot panel, um, we, drop, we have floor pins that drop into receivers in the floor. So they have a spring-loaded plate that covers the hole so it's not exposed during normal use when the wall is in the open position. The foot can be used to drop the pin into the floor and it interlocks with our new lock system that um, when once the pin is dropped, turn the lock, it's locked in place, you cannot lift the pin. Unlock it, you can lift the pin. When we developed the Invista line, uh, engineering uh, developed a new type of bowl nose seal that uh, interconnects, interlocks one panel to the next. It creates a nice tight seal, not only for acoustics, but a side benefit is that these panels are interlocking pretty tightly. When you uh, set up all the panels in a run and you drop the pin that is uh, holding the uh, panel adjacent to the pivot panel in place, it locks those panels in place together that they cannot be dislodged very easily at all. Um, it would take quite the force to be able to dislodge them. This is uh, uh, something that we've discovered through our testing that is a side benefit to the new design. So um, that what that means is that uh, there's less holes necessary to drill in the floors for accepting pins to be able to affect the, come up with a rigid wall. 
uh, we have a test uh, wall that's set up in our facility here that has six panels and we dropped one pin at the trailing end of that panel run and all the panels are rigidly supported and locked together with no additional need for other pins. So we found that to be a nice side benefit for the design. And this is a demo of our waist high activated edge pin. For those panels that require an edge pin, which would be every other panel in a paired panel run, and for certain panels in uh, Omni run, such as a, uh, the jam panel opposite the pivot panel, this is located at waist high, roughly 36 inches above the floor, and it can be uh, used to drop that pin without having to bend over. With Invis, uh, it was about a seven month development lead time. Now that started when engineering had started their work based on the specs and marketing provided that I provided. Um, really where the heavy lifting was, was figuring out what did we want to bring to market? What is it that the market wants? And so we do, we focus heavily on interacting with our end user customers and with our architects and designers to identify unmet needs. And out of that came the specs that were delivered to engineering to start this project. From start to finish, only seven months for the engineering aspect to be able to get it uh, ready for production and our first unit shipped out the door. Um, I tip my cap to engineering for not only developing this product and what might be the, the, the most rapid product we've ever brought to market, but also for a lot of the features and functions that were added to this product during development that weren't even in our mind or in our eyes when we developed the spec. So a lot of credit goes to our engineering team for what they were able to accomplish with this. The biggest challenge in developing any glass wall is coming up with a design that's easy to use, attractive, and maximizes clear view. So sometimes trade-off decisions are necessary, and that's probably the biggest challenge is we were, uh, with this project, we were laser focused on developing a panel system that was light, sleek, attractive, and easy to use while still achieving the, uh, the sound management targets we set out to be able to achieve an S a 38 STC. So the biggest challenge really is in the upfront concept development, coming up with the concept and the look, vetting that, and then once we've uh, I, I, you know, got the, the voice of the customer, got the feedback that yes, we're on the right path, then it's full speed ahead in development. So most of the heavy lifting, most of the, 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 the challenges in the upfront, and then once we've settled in on the design and we've got the right feedback, then that's where we hit the ground running. And there's where engineering was able to pull it off in a very short amount of time. Invista is made here in the USA, in Janesville, Wisconsin. We're headquartered in Janesville, that's our global headquarters. We do have um, dealers and distributors throughout the country, as well as our own Huffcore sales force located in various parts of the country. And then we're, we're also, maybe some people don't realize, we're also a global company. And so we have offices throughout the globe and partners throughout the globe who manufacture our products in other parts of the, of the globe. So, but everything that's uh, sold here in North America is produced right here in Janesville, Wisconsin.